Dr. NGR Educational and Research Institute, University, Madhuraboy, Chennai. I am a great believer that any tool that enhances communication has profound effects in terms of how people can learn from each other and how they can achieve the kind of freedoms that they are interested in. Words shared by Bill Gates. A pleasant greetings one and all present here. I am Priyanka, Assistant Professor, Department of English, to host from Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute. First year, ENT, Faculty of Engineering and Technology, organizes a webinar on enhancing communication skills through parables. It's immense pleasure to honor our resource person, Mr. Ranganatha Chakravarti, founder Madras Scrabble Foundation, who is a lawyer by training and an international Scrabble champion. We welcome you, sir. Oh, thank you, madam. He has been playing the game competitively for 23 years. And I request formally our first year joint registrar, ENT, Dr. N.S. Shribasri, to give welcome address. Thank you, Ms. Priyanka. So a warm welcome to all the participants present here. So today we are having yet another fascinating session on enhancing your communication skills through Scrabbles. At the outset, I would like to thank our honorable president, sir, for constantly supporting us and motivating us to do such programs, which is very useful for student community. Thank you, sir. On behalf of the first year ENT team, I would like to welcome our provost, sir, registrar, sir, our Vice Chancellor, Madam, ad, uh, additional registrars, joint registrars of all campuses, deans, directors, HODs, teaching and non-teaching staff, last but not least, are participants, enthusiastic participants. Dear students, let us unitedly welcome all our dignitaries for this student program. Today, you are all aware of the pandemic situation and we, from MGR University are very proud that we are able to engage you online. And today, we are having a very great guest with us, Mr. Ranganatha Chakravarti, founder of Metra Scrabble Association. On behalf of the team, let us welcome him. Welcome, sir. Thank you for sparing your time in a shorter notice of time. Thank you, madam. Dear students, you're all familiar with the word Scrabble. It's a game, right? But Sir has proved that it is very much useful in enhancing our communication skill or probably the English language. Okay, so from a perspective point of view, like how we can change even the game into a learning uh, procedure, today Sir is with us to explain that. So we are all familiar with the game Scrabble but how it is going to be useful for you to build your English language. So that is what is the essence of today's talk. So I request all the students, participants, to make note of what he's telling and use it in your life, right? So once again, I welcome all of you for this great event and over to you, Ms. Priyanka. Our teachers have been playing the game competitively for 23 years and currently ranks sixth in India. He has represented the country 
ensured world cable championship orderly 2001 2007 2017 and 2019 he has participated and won the 15th place in the 2017 world travel championship in nairobi kenya and also 37th place in the 2019 world travel championship in goa india it's really a great proud that he won a couple of international tournaments and many national level tournaments he has founded the madras travel foundation in 2014 to put india on the world map as a dominant force in the game of travel on behalf of our department and our technical team uh, we give you a cordial welcome sir thank you madam sir you can proceed sir uh so before i start i want to thank subhashri madam for organizing this event and the management for also uh, going along with madam uh, to have this program for the students so uh, let me share my screen now right so uh, are you able to see the screen now uh Uh, madam are you able to see the screen now priyanka madam uh priyanka madam are you there priyanka madam I just want to know whether my screen is visible. Okay. So uh Madam? Madam? Yes sir. Is the screen visible? Yes sir. You can All see. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh so before we start what is a good vocabulary level the level is determined by the amount of words you know so the more you know the better is your vocabulary so if you know say 10000 words that means you've got very good vocabulary to communicate so that's important so language you know english but without the words how can you communicate so for words you need to know a lot of words and to develop your vocabulary you can start with these two books word power made easy by norman lewis and how to build a better vocabulary by morris rosenblum so i i read these books when i was young so i would advise you to take these uh, two books and read them first to improve your vocabulary if you haven't done already so people are writing exams today and going abroad so if you want to go abroad you need a lot of vocabulary so for that you can start here so introductory facts we are the second largest english speaking na nation after usa that is a fact and we are good in mathematics logic and because of our educational system we are good in english too so that is our basic introduction so this we know as a fact so scrabble is something which uses the english language vocabulary so that is why i'm going to talk about scrabble so this game is a board game it has been played since 1948 for those who don't know this has been played from 1948 and it is played played in more than 50 countries why do we play scrabble an interesting word game improves your vocabulary develops tactical thinking analytical thinking tactical thinking is short term planning analytical thinking is problem solving so this you you have to develop while you 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 are going to become engineers so you need to develop these skills how to think how do we categorize scrabble scrabble as uh, is categorized as an indoor sport and it is also an intellectual sport 
So many people are not aware of this. Scrabble is an indoor sport. So in a rainy, rainy day like today, we can sit in the home and play these games to develop ourselves. So I'm saying Scrabble is playing to our strengths. Why? Because we are good in language. We are good in English. So we concentrate on games like mental games. So, so we can uh, compete at the world level. So where we are strong, we should focus there so that we can get, uh, we can compete at the world level to get medals for our country. So that is why this game is because we are talking about math, logic and English. This is what our strengths are. So we need to concentrate our, our focus on games like chess, Scrabble and other mental games. So skill sets involved in Scrabble, anagramming, spelling accuracy, general knowledge, foresight, spatial awareness, logical thinking, decision making, resource management, time management. So we, you develop all these skill sets while play, playing Scrabble. So I will come to some of the skill sets, not all of them, but you might be wondering as to how general knowledge improves that I'll come to you, uh, come to that later. So, um, 2019 December, there was a newspaper article saying that University Grants Commission has asked colleges and universities to allocate one hour every day for sports and fitness. So it can be physical or mental sports. So there can, there can be one of them or both you can do. So every 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 day one hour for sports. This comes under Fit India, Fit India campaign. So this is the article which came in Times of India. This is what it is. And you can see on the left, it says tech companies test logical and problem solving skills through games. Remember this companies like Tata are giving tests. Ashok Leland are giving tests games as tests to select people, candidates. So for the teachers who are there, research papers on Scrabble. So one research which I want to show you is at the fourth world conference on educational technology researchers. There has been the research on Scrabble. Scrabble as a tool for engineering students' critical thinking skill developments. This was done at the Tomsk, uh, Tomsk Poly Polytechnic University, Russia. So this research, what they concluded, this uh, English teacher concluded that board game Scrabble should be introduced as a teaching tool and method selection for an advanced stage of students' critical thinking development. So the, lead, uh, the, the teacher says that this should be introduced as a teaching tool and method selection for an advanced stage of students critical thinking development. So we don't have to go to the final year. We can start at the first year and slowly make them think, develop their thinking skills through Scrabble. Skill sets. I've already listed out the skill sets. These are the skill sets again. A small skill set test. Before we proceed further, small skill set test. You might be wondering what these tests are. Very small, nothing great. You all know all these tests. So there is a five letter word here, F-A-N-T-O, Fanto. From that, you have to bring out all the three letter words. There are totally 13 three letter words. So I, you don't, this is just to show you the sample. So there are 13, I'll show you, this is an example. So I'm just giving you an example before we go to the actual test. So from F-A-N-T-O, there are 13 three letter words. So some of which you already know. F A N fan, you know, fat, you know, A N T ant, you know, O A T oat, oft is often, N O T not. So some might know tau. Tau is one of the Greek alphabets, so you know that as well. So if you don't know the others, don't worry, it's not required. So fan, fat, ant, oat, oft not. These are the answers for this question. From this five letter word, you're picking out the three letter words. From the five letters, you're picking up the three letters. Now the test starts now. In two minutes, you have to find out all the five letter words from the set of letters. Find all the five letter words and write down and let me see how many you get. In two minutes. You have to be quick.
F A N T O D U M are the eight letters from which you have to bring out all the five letter words which you know. Out of the 23, you might not know all the 23. At least some of them you should know. Okay, a minute is over. So we should have at least got three now. In a minute, you should have at least got three three words. So uh, let me see whether you've got these three words, which I'm looking for. From the set of eight letters, you need to bring out all the five letter words. Answer three, nomad. Answer 16, found. And answer 21, mount. If you have got these three in one minute, it's great. You have got a very quick mind. If you have not got it, you can develop it by playing Scrabble. That is what it is. So from this, out of 23, I wanted to get only three from you. I wanted Nomad, I wanted Found and I wanted Mount. If you have got these three words, congratulations to you. Next. Now we have another set of eight letters. And I give you two minutes to get six letter words from this, not five, but six. Only there are only two six letter words in this. And you know both of them. It's just a little bit difficult, I think, because you're not used to these kinds of tests because you've forgotten this when you were young. After third standard, fourth standard, I don't think they give you words building. So uh, that is where we stop. We have to keep on building words till, uh, till, till we die. We keep building words. So uh, let me go to the answer. So both are both are both are elements in the periodic table. Barium and erbium. So uh, barium is inside this, and also erbium. So it's very difficult to actually see it very quickly. So two minutes. If you have gotten this, uh, double congratulations. If it is not, you can uh, develop that skill of seeing through these things. That is what is thinking skill. It's not easy to develop. If you haven't already had it, you have to develop it. So this is it. Barium and erbium are the answers. Two six letter words, which you should know. Right, an anagram challenge. Uh, one of the skill sets said anagramming. So I'm giving you anagram challenge. Now you see angel can be changed to angle. Bat can be changed to tap, cat to act, rat to art. Now the, the question is, there are two seven letter words. You need to get the actual words. These are not the words which I want. I want the actual words which have meaning to it. So these are not having any meaning to it, but you have to get the actual words which have meaning to it. I give you two minutes to solve this. You need to get the seven letter word, not the five, not the six. You need to get the seven letters. Right. 
rearranged letters to get the seven letter word. So this is another skill which people forget. It's also important. This is called pattern recognition. So which is important for artificial intelligence. If you recognize the pattern, you will find the seven letter word or it will take time for you to solve the puzzle here. So this is a test usually given for intelligence tests. They give you these kinds of tests to find out the proper word which has some meaning to it. This is not having any meaning to it. I have jumbled it. So you have to unjumble it to get the seven letter word. Now it is one minute over. Let me give you the answer. So the answers are closure and leprosy, both of the words which you know. So these are the answers. So from this, you have to get this. If even if you get one, you have to congratulate yourself because it's not easy to see the pattern in it to get these words now to the game so scrabble equipment you need a board you need the tiles and the rack the board is like this there are 100 tiles at the end of the z you see two blank tiles there are two blank tiles like the joker in the pack of cards those are blank tiles can be used as any alphabet so you need a bag to put the tiles that's why i have shown you the bag like this you will have a bag and you will put all the tiles into the bag. You will have a timer. Before you start the game, you need to see all this timer. You can play with the timer. You cannot play endlessly. You need to have a timer. Then you need to have a dictionary to settle disputes. If you don't agree with the word, you should settle disputes. And you can use the Scrabble dictionary, which is you can buy it online. You can buy it on Amazon. Uh, this will cost you around 2000 to 2300. So the tiles with point value. So now you have A to Z. A is one point, B three points, Z is 10 points, Q is 10 points, X is eight points, J eight points, K five points. Why? The, the reason is there are not many words in those, those letters. So that's why they give you more points if you use those words. So blank, I said two blanks are there in the bag of hundred tiles. So blank has no value, zero points, but you can use it as any alphabet while playing it. You have the racks to keep the tiles. This is how it is kept. The seven letters which you pick up are kept like this on the rack. So the board again, the colors, you see the colors, the dark blue, light blue, pink and the red. So these are called multipliers or premium squares. So here your points will be more. The points will be multiplied. So this is it, the premium squares, double letter score, triple letter score, double word score, triple word score. These are the colored squares where you, if you place your letters, you, you get multiple, multiply the points there. Double letter score, the letter value is multiplied by two. In triple letter score, the triple letter you have to, if you place your alphabet there, the point value of that particular letter is multiplied by three. <clears throat> double word score, the whole, the whole word is multiplied by two. The whole word is taken first added and then multiplied by two. Again, triple word score. The point value of the whole word is multiplied by three. So this is the center square from where we start the game. That's why I put the center square here so that you know. And basic rules, do's and don'ts. Now, I'll show you video now. Be ready for a video. So this is the playing equipment, the board, the tiles, the rack and the timer. So after that, uh, the person has to do the toss to pick up, to decide who goes first, a person picks up letters from the bag. So I pick up one letter, you, you will pick up one letter, whoever is closer to A will play first. After that, the first person will pick up seven letters. Yeah, he shows this and he picks up seven letters from the bag, like how you see it. 
you don't show the tiles to the opponent. He is drawing his seven tiles. And then he will place it on the rack. And then he will play his word. Now he is going to make a move. Right. He's counting the point value. I think 86 is the score, he says, and that touches his timer. So that is how it is. Then the opponent will play now. You start from the center. One of the letters should touch the center square. The star you see on the top, one of the letters should touch the center square. Anyone, F, O, R, or M, any one of it. You can't play like this. This is not allowed. Word, the letter B or M or U or a D should touch the center square. If you play like this, it's wrong. So the game starts from the center of the board, vertical or horizontal play, no diagonal play. Top to down, left to right, like this, left to right, top to bottom, no diagonal, not down to top, not right to left. You can't play like this. And if after the first player plays, a second player plays like this, HAD, from the letters he has got, each one should make a meaning. OH, DA, ED, everything should make sense. Otherwise, you can't play this move, HAD. You can't play to the corner of the board. You have to connect and make a move. You can't play to the corner of the board as shown here. You can't make it like this. You have to play like this. This particular board, this is taken from the national championships 2017 united states this is the this was the final board in the national championship united states this is these are the, some of the words you might know some of the words you might not know like for example uh florigen is not a regular word you might not know that and there might be wog wog which is not a regular word divot divot you might not know truce you might not know. There are so many words that are there in the dictionary which you might not know. But don't worry about those. But this is how it will look. So for start of the game, a toss is there to decide who goes first. Two players will pick up letters. Whoever is closer to A will play first. First player will pick up seven letters. Second player then picks up seven letters. Game starts. When you start, you need to play at least a two-letter word. You can't play a single alphabet on the board. You have to play minimum two-letter word like off, it, on something like that winner is the person who scores the maximum points very simple so there is also online scrabble there are two websites i have I've marked here two websites i've written here you can go to any one of them and you can play online but uh, let me show you the online yeah i'll just show you one and then we'll go back to the uh, right so you, you create an ID, you have this, then you go and play here. Yeah, this is the Scrabble board and you play with your opponent. You can play with your friend, your relative, whoever you want to play, you can play with them. We could, uh, we could also have online tournaments. Once the session is over, introductory sessions are over, then uh, maybe the department, interdepartmental tournaments can happen. So this is it. I'll just show you how the games are played. So something like this. So I have this first, I make a move hut, then he plays heavy, then sold, then dub army, something like this. So this is how the game proceeds. So then we'll go back to the slides. Right. First player to play from this set of seven letters, first player will play bay, baby, bray. There's so many options, burka. So this you might not know, you have to learn Burka. You all know the word Burka, but the way it is spelled is this way, B-U-R-Q-A. So there are options. So this is called, this is your resource. Q-U-A-B-B-Y-R is your resource and you're managing the resource within the time given to you. So if you're playing a 10 minute game, each, each gets five minutes and you have to play your words within five minutes. How, how much ever you play, you, you, how much ever you play, you have to go score more than him. That is your objective. But you have to think from this set of letters, what are the words you can form? 
out of this you can form uh, so many other options i've shown you now one of this could be bay one of the other words could be baby bray burka so you can choose your word and then choose the best maximum scores and make a move something like this then second player plays from this set of letters second player has to make a move suppose you have played by that is an option so you have played by the second player has to pay his words so he has got toy which he connects to make by again you can repeat the words so you play toy and connect toy like this boot one of the options one of the one of the letters one one of the options you have to choose from this set of letters you choose some of the word to think of and you play so bot boot bog rob something bro bro so something you will play you will get some points so this is how it is you keep moving and uh, then the opponent plays you play it alternates between you two and whoever scores maximum after 10 minutes is the winner so this is how it is what happens if you use all the seven letters in one move you get 50 points bonus if you use all the seven letters you get your score plus 50 points 50 points is a bonus like this so already codes has been played by the first person and the second player has to play his word so he has got m a r i n h a from that if you can play chairman if you see chairman you will place chairman and get the bonus points otherwise you will stop with chair you will stop with chair or you will play hairs to the s something else you will make hard something you will play except uh, playing chairman and uh, there is only one you see chairman or you don't see chairman that's that's how you make your seven letter move in one in one go all the seven letters are played same way here computer o m p u t e r and if you can see computer you get your bonus points these are examples of bonus plays where you get your bonus 50 points and you see there are these are eight letter words c is already on the board and you use the seven letters with your with your with you and you play the eight letter word and uh, this is how you make your eight letter move so you have a right to challenge if you don't like a word played by your opponent you challenge that word if the word is word challenge is is, is good it remains if it is bad if it is not in the dictionary it will be removed so it's something like this it is not a word at all so you can remove it uh, you challenge the word first and if it is not in the dictionary it will be removed so i don't know the word former it will be removed so the wrong word will be removed and the person will score zero points that's how it is what are the words allowed what are the words not allowed so here i'm saying you do, you cannot play abbreviations so these are these definitely can't be played tv ic iq and all of this cannot be played so something like this clan r these are examples from players who have played it and it remained on the board because it was not challenged if you challenge it it will be removed because they didn't challenge it it remains on the board something like this sr is not a word wi is not a word all these are not words that's why i pulled out all these things to show you what is not allowed june is a month name of the month and it is a proper noun proper nouns are not allowed so if you have something like this what would you do if you get all the vowels what would you do you can't play so you will exchange that is also an option which you have if you can't make a move you exchange same like this if you get this first move what do you get oh you can't play anything then you can exchange exchange one two three four five six or seven how many ever you want you can exchange so you can repeat the words the first player who gets the colored square will get the points second second player will not get the colored square only the first person who gets on the keeps on the color will get the multiplier the second player will not get the multiplier so that's how it is words from dictionaries so these are the six dictionaries from which the scrabble dictionary is made so merriam webster's collegiate funk and wagnalls is nothing but collins dictionary funk, funk and wagnalls is united states but all around the rest of the world it is called collins dictionary american heritage Webster's New World, Random House, Oxford. These are the dictionaries from from which you get the Scrabble dictionary. This dictionary. So from all these six, the Scrabble dictionary is made. All the words are put here, and you can play. You can refer to it, or you use any one of them. You can use Oxford or Random, whatever is in your house. You can using using them. You can play with your friends, because uh, either you use the online mode, or you can play with your friends. Like on a rainy day, you can sit with your friends and play. And the colleges, anyway. 
have to give you one hour every day for playing. So you can take that time and play with your friends, even in college. So what are the words which are allowed? Noun, pronoun, verbs, adjectives, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Any that is from the eight parts of speech, you can use all of them. You can use these, uh, you can make words from these uh, parts of speech. I already said examples of word not allowed. IQ, capitalized entries in dictionary. That means names of people can't be played. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, uh, all these planets cannot be played. Like Earth has got a meaning called soil. Mercury is also an element. So those words can be played. Now recently Pluto has been added. So names of countries can't be played. Rivers, mountains, abbreviations, names of religions can't be made. So these are examples of words which cannot be played. But you can play all the other things, countable nouns, uncountable nouns and all of this, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, all this. So what's in the dictionary? There are, see, whatever we speak, we speak uh, from uh, the, the dictionary, the words are in the dictionary, whatever we speak and write, all the words are in the dictionary. So there are terms, physics, chemistry terms, botany terms, and you have so many other words. So like if you have to go to see bat, mat, rat, cat, all of that is defined in the dictionary. You can find an entry there and it, which defines what is a cat, what is a mat, what is a bat. All of that is defined in the dictionary. So that is why I said it is a general knowledge book. The dictionary, according to me, has to be emphasized as a general knowledge book, not as a dictionary. That is why you improve your general knowledge if you refer to the dictionary because there is so much to it. There are so many words in the dictionary which you don't open on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm sure. But if you play the game of Scrabble, you get a chance to open the dictionary to see some words and develop your skills. So this is all. I'll show you something else. The currencies can be played. You know all of this, but you don't know the Baisa Rupi, you might know. But Dalasi, Lempira, Eskudo, Chan, Fenig and Gopik, who cares? So, but they can be played in Scrabble. That is why there is the, the, the dictionary becomes open to you to, to play, and which is not available in any other game. For you to improve your language, this game allows you to improve because the old dictionary opens up. Words from physics, you know anode, cathode, but do you know dynode? That's an intermediary electrode. I learned it when I came to Scrabble. I didn't know a dynode. What I learned in my, my, my lower classes, I learned about anode and cathode. I didn't know a dynode. I became knowledgeable after I started playing Scrabble. Ampere and all that, you know, Maxwell is a unit of magnetic flux and all of that is regular. Chemistry, you know, all the chemical elements can be played. There are so many. I've just uh, taken out Krypton, Curium, Darmstadtium. Darmstadt is a place in Germany. So from that uh, element comes from there. Artificially produced. Botany terms. You know, there are so many words. Monocot, dicot, tricot, phloem, xylem and all of that. Botany terms are all defined in the dictionary. Go check the dictionary if you don't agree with me. So math terms, secant, cosecant, tangent, parabola, all of these are defined in the dictionary. So you can, you can, many other words are there. So these are some of the examples are put. Then bones in the body, there are 206 bones. Each bone has a name. So you have this. So there are so many bones, you can play any, any one of them. Birds, fishes, flowers, plants. You can play all of them, cheeses, slang words, words from Tamil. So some of the words I put out, anikat is anikat, kanji is what you drink, kanji, pachuli. You know what pachuli is? Is pachale. That has been written like this in English. Sherute, surute, punaku, you know, vetiwe. Uh, the herb is a vetiwe. All these words are there in the dictionary. I didn't put it here. The dictionary man put it here. The, the, the lexicographers thought it, and English is always growing language. It doesn't stop. It takes from all the other languages. Loan words, it borrows words from other languages, so it's huge. Words from Telugu. So you have this bandicoot is pericha, perichali, you know, perichali that is bandicoot. It comes from Telugu. Words from Hindi, you already know many words, but you don't know that it is in the dictionary. These are words in the dictionary today. You will find you pick up pick up the Oxford dictionary, open it up, you will find Bandar, Belpuri, all small b, not capital B, all small b in the dictionary. So these can be played. Churidar, everybody knows. So from now, halwa, now Tirnal Valley halwa people know. Uh, now they don't know that it is, that that word is coming from Hindi. So halwa comes from Hindi and before that it comes from, uh, the Hindi people took it from Turkey. Actually halwa was made in Turkey first. Variant spellings in the dictionary. Biryani can be spelled three different ways. 
So, Nalanai gingerly can be spelt eight different ways. Pulau, you know, Pulau can be spelt nine different ways. All these are acceptable. You can see the dictionary and open up and check. There are so many ways to write the same Pulau, all of them same meaning. Papadam is what you eat. You say so many other words are used. Papadam and you know, different languages are different words. But English, it's written like this. Papadam, papadam, papadam. You can eat papadam in nine different, ten different ways. Papadam, so many different ways. You can play all of them in Scrabble. Q without U. Usually, the Q will, you will follow the Q. So, but here there are words like this. Kadi, Kindar and QI, Fakir and all of this written like this. So, you can, Burka also another word I showed you. So, these are words with Q without you following it. X words. Then you have, I have uh, got some words from Sweden. So you, you have gravlax, a nice X word. It's a salmon dish, uh, fish curry there, a fish salad in Scandinavia. Mostly it is, I think, uh, Nor Norway, uh, Sweden. They have that here. They, that's where they have. Norway also, they have this dish. Angstrom is also from a physicist. A Swedish physicist Angstrom, Dahlia, another person named Andreas Dahl from, from whose name it has come Dahlia, Erbium, we have already seen Erbium, now Erbium is from Iterby, Sweden, that is where it is found, it was found from there, Iterby is the town, apps, so uh, check out this app, this is a very good app to use, word expert and, uh, and when you when you touch on the words, it will go to the meaning. It's very, very friendly app. Word expert for Scrabble. You've got a lot of words you can learn from here. Word checker also. If you have any disputes, you can check. Disputed words can be checked here. You can check it here. You can check here as well. Word expert can also, you can, you can use to check. You can use word checker to check. Now, what is next? Scrabble made as an activity in your college. You start to play and we have... Uh, Online tournaments now. Whenever uh, we, uh, whenever in-person tournaments are available, then we'll have in-person tournaments. Right now, we can have online tournaments with uh, your friends. Intra-college. Inter-college, I don't know, but intra-college is possible. And that concludes this session. Hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, thank you very much. Madam? Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Thank you, madam. And uh, the essence of all beautiful art, all great art is the gratitude. You scrutinized our minds by introducing the game Scrabble. Scrabble dictionary and uh, uh, analogies and different various apps are uh, really quite interesting, sir. Thank you, Thank you so much, sir. I'd like to call Mrs. Meenakshi, Assistant Professor, to deliver vote of thanks. Sorry for the inconvenience. My heartfelt thanks towards the whole team, technicians, management, staffs, and our students. Patiently listening the session. Thank you so much.